If you're looking to get into cybersecurity, then this video is perfect for you. The reason for that is because I'm going to be sharing five free cybersecurity home lab projects that you can do to get some valuable hands-on experience, especially if you're looking for your first ever role within cybersecurity. So no excuses. It's completely free, doesn't need a lot of effort. And all you need for this is VirtualBox, two virtual machines and a good internet connection. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. The first project that we will be looking at is building your own home SIEM lab solution. Now SIEM stands for Security Information and Event Management, and it is one of the most important domains, especially within like a SOC analyst role. In cybersecurity, primarily what a SIEM is used for is to ingest logs from all of your different network devices. And then you can sort of display these logs in the form of dashboards and use these dashboards to then see what exactly is going on within your environment or within your network. One of the most popular SIEM home labs that you can build and deploy is using Waza. Waza is an open source SIEM solution, which is super easy to deploy. And there's plenty of documentation available on Waza's website if you want to try different things with this amazing tool. To help guide you, I'm going to recommend a home lab project that I made on this very channel, which is installing and running a Waza agent and a Waza manager. The approach should be that you have one machine on which you run your Waza manager, and then you've got another machine on which you run your Waza agent. And this is literally just touching the surface. There are so many amazing things that you can do with Waza and the Seam Home Lab. Therefore, I'd highly recommend you to check my Home Lab video. There's a complete free guide that goes with it as well. You can try it in your own time and the link is going to be in the description of this video. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing all of these cybersecurity projects, it's also very important for you to have your own cybersecurity portfolio where you can showcase these projects that you've done to recruiters. And that is where you can use Sevala. Sevala is an all-in-one platform as a service, which can be used to host databases, applications, or static sites. And it's so simple and easy to use. All you do is you just log in to their website and they give you a $50 credit when you sign up as well. This is great for someone who doesn't have a lot of coding experience as well, especially for people that are studying and working within the cybersecurity domain. All you do is you can just go to templates and you can spin up your own site. In this case, I'm just going to spin up a WordPress site from the template and that's it. It's deploying automatically. Within a few minutes, you'll get your live URL. You don't need coding, no GitHub, none of that stuff. It's super easy and super simple. And one of the coolest features about Savala is that everything is in the one central dashboard. So if you want to see the different types of apps, the different types of templates, the different types of databases, Everything is on that one single pane of glass and you can also see metrics, logs, etc. And because it runs on Kubernetes and it's backed by Cloudflare's global network across 25 different regions, it's built for performance and reliability. Security wise, it's backed by Kinstar, which means it's got enterprise grade compliance, things like ISO 27001, GDPR, etc. built in. So if you're looking to explore cloud deployment and are looking for a solution that is transparent, flexible with no hidden limits or no crazy pricing tiers and stuff like that, and you also want a free $50 credit, then do check out Savala. The link is going to be in the description and you can totally use this to build your own cybersecurity portfolio where you can then list your projects. The second project that I highly recommend that you should focus on is building your own home lab firewall. Now this can be a software firewall or a hardware firewall. Now with firewalls as well, you've got different types. And for this specific project, I would highly recommend you to go with one of these two options. The first one is a network based firewall and some of the best options out there are PFSense, which is free and open source. And the second one is a web application firewall in order to protect your applications, websites, etc. The great thing about these two exercises is that both of these home labs can be combined into one large solution. For example, you can have a Kali Linux machine, which is your attacker machine. You've then got your Ubuntu VM, which is the victim machine in this case. And what I have used in the home lab is I've run DVWA, also known as Dam Vulnerable Web Application. In front of this, you can then have your PFSense firewall or your SafeLine web application firewall. And you can try and attack from your Kali Linux machine and exploit different types of cybersecurity attacks. One of the most common and famous ones that I have sort of taken advantage of in my home lab walkthrough is SQL injections. Now you can try different examples. And I'd highly recommend you to build both of these firewalls, which is the PFSense as well as the SafeLine web application firewall, because the learnings from this are once again immense. The third home lab project is CTF style labs using either Hack the Box or Try Hack Me. Hack the Box and Try Hack Me are the industry leaders 
when it comes to these type of CTF style labs. It's pretty simple and fun at the same time. The goal with these is simple. You're given a virtual machine and a set of tasks, and you've got to make sure that you complete all of those tasks and complete the end goal for that specific challenge. The methodology for these boxes is that you start off with reconnaissance, then enumeration, exploitation, and then followed by post-exploitation. TryHackMe is generally considered more beginner friendly. So if you're someone who has completely zero experience in this, I would recommend you start with TryHackMe and you can then move on to Hack the Box. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that both TryHackMe as well as Hack the Box have got some of their free tracks. It's very important to understand that not everything is free, but there are a few beginner boxes or beginner pathways that are free and gives you a lot of learning at the same time. Therefore, take advantage of that first, use the free labs to build a solid foundation, and then you can decide if you then want to sort of buy the paid subscription and do the more complicated labs or no. Project number four is Wireshark based network analysis. Now, for those of you who don't know, Wireshark is a tool that is primarily used by network engineers and it's mainly used in network troubleshooting because it gives you the complete packet capture of what packets or frames are exiting or entering your network interfaces. And you can literally see what is the flow of traffic within a network. And one of the reasons why I highly recommend this lab is because networking is crucial when it comes to cybersecurity. You should be able to see and understand how you can read packets or traffic at a network level. So if you then want to find alerts or logs or see what exactly is going on within a network, you're able to do so. Now to help you with this, there are a lot of free YouTube resources to help you gain that practical hands-on experience when it comes to Wireshark. So all you do is once again on your virtual machines, you can attack from your Kali Linux attacker machine and on your Ubuntu machine, you can then run Wireshark. You can see what are the packets coming in from your Kali Linux attacker machine. See what exactly is going on. Try and apply different types of filters. Filters are literally used in Wireshark to further streamline your packet capture and find exactly what you're looking for. So yeah, if you're looking to get into cybersecurity, adding this home lab project with that crucial Wireshark hands-on experience is going to be super beneficial for your cybersecurity portfolio. And finally, how can I finish this video off without cloud security projects? And therefore, our fifth and final home lab project that you need to be focusing on is cloud security. And to help you with this, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the cybersecurity creators GitHub repository who goes by the name of Rajneesh. You can check his repository and he's got a couple of good cloud security projects that you should definitely try and add to your resume. This repository consists of projects that can help you learn about IAM misconfigurations, serverless hardening, S3 bucket permissions, as well as cloud logging and monitoring. And even if you don't want to do all five projects, I would highly recommend you at least pick two out of these so that you learn about cloud deployments and cloud environments. All right, so these were the five projects, completely diverse using a Seam Home Lab, building a firewall, using CTF style labs, doing cloud security projects, as well as Wireshark network analysis and monitoring. Trust me, you do these five home labs, build a solid cybersecurity portfolio, add them on your resume, and you've gotten some crucial hands-on experience which can help you land your first ever cybersecurity role. If you like this video, I'd highly recommend you to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comment section what you think about these projects or if you would consider adding another project to this list of projects, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.